like the actual like windows configuration and all that so i still had all of my art and everything like that just yeah it's yeah don't mess yeah, with technology that. yeah <laughs> i can don't i can ask electricity i can i can ask elam see what it was called because he says he uses it and it's good yeah, that sounds very useful and probably a good idea yeah. just because we live in a place. We live in Louisiana, yeah. which is like the storm We live in a place. place. We, we live, live in, in a place. place on the planet that is getting fucked up. Um, yeah. The weather's getting worse. Yeah, sorry guys. Uh, the power just flickered and my computer uh, shut off. Echo's computer is fine though. Yeah, which is weird. I... Joe, What's is up? there an unstuck button? I have. I'm, oh. I've managed to break the game. I think, oh, no. I think I know which part you might have found. Uh, one sec. I you can <laughs> fast travel to your home if you look up on the map. <laughs> you should be able to fast travel. Uh, yeah, I just I'm reveling in this. I, oh, is this the place you you also got stuck? I don't know. Also, sorry, uh, people saw my email. It's whatever. My email's out there. I should. Oh, oh no. Should I submit this <laughs> just to let them know? It's not my business email, so if you come to me for any business stuff, I'm gonna ignore it. I have my business email is business at jocat.net. But um, how do I report this? Yes, we lost stream because Joe's power went out. Yes. Uh... Uh, yeah, yeah, press M, like, if you're able to open the map. And I think the yeah. top top right, do you see your home? Yeah. Uh, no, I have to wait eight minutes. Oh, okay, because probably because you've recently fast-traveled there. Yeah. I'm gonna be right uh, back for, like, five to ten minutes. Uh, so okay. I can I'm make seeing if there's a way to porn. report the bug on the Discord. Hmm. Maybe player um, support? If you open your... Just brings up FAQ guys. I guess submit a request hey, to contact hey. us. Mm -hmm. It's not like a bug report Boy. thing. Yes, Shen. Uh, um, I love you, bitch. <laughs> oh, there you go. I ain't ever gonna stop loving you, bitch. Wait, there you go. I got one. Yeah. Hold on, I need to change my Discord so that it can pick up random sounds. Could you hear the guitar? <laughs> yes. I'm learning. Cause my my Discord does it where it can't it cuts out the sounds uh, because I have crisp noise suppression. I'm trying to oh, work out what the this light, bug falls the under. Light, the light just flickered again. Play? So chat, if you no. the uh. light just flickered. So chat, if you see if I go off uh, offline, you'll know, and then I think I will call the stream if that happens again. But Shen, I I also have a thing. Yes. It's uh. Did you hear that? Yeah. It's only got three strings, though. It's okay. D does this count as a clipping collision oh, it's, bug? It's, I, it's, I think so. I, like, I need to yeah. find you. Where are you? Hold on. Uh, but, 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 uh, but I'll put this on the floor. Uh, we need to be in the same server, my love. Uh, I'm going to invite you to the party. And invite player to server. Wait, how do I accept? Down there, yeah. There you go. Sorry, did I swear again? I am so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's not a big I'm deal. Trying, I'm, trying. I'm trying to. That's all that matters because. We're not under contract. Not a. What? Not, not sponsored. Not movie. Um. Are we in the same server now? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, let me look at the map. Where are you? I am... I think this counts as Kilmer Valley. I... I... Don't... <coughs> I'm very far don't... from... Uh... Ooh, I... Uh... I see. Ooh. Okay, uh, you're like northeast, yeah? Yes. Okay, I'll go there. You stay there. I'm gonna head on the path. Okay. Yeah, chat, if I if the stream stops, uh, you'll know what happened, and I'll just call it. So sorry.
Just waiting for my eight minutes to be up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to see where you are. Where are you stuck? Hold on, I want to um, find you first. Okay. Where, where are you? Open the map. Right? Yeah. I am at this okay. Point. Uh, stay right there. I don't have coordinates. East of City Hall. Yeah, I'm there now too. No, no, I'm not. Just kidding. I lied. Uh, I see you. It's because you're not in my party. I couldn't see you on the map. Here, I'm gonna send you another invite to the party. There we go. There. Accept that. Wait. Uh, press O. There we go. Accept. There you go. We should be able to see each other on the map. Poi, accept my uh, my party invite so I can see you on the map, so we can come save you. Okay. Thing. Uh. It might. Okay, didn't teleport me. Yeah, come, mm -hmm. come see, come see. I guess me being stuck and just waiting right now. See where? Oh, you're all the way up there, Phoenix Falls. Yeah. North. I was just follow me running around and things went a bit awry. That is scary sounding. That is Louisiana. <laughs> I've gotten used yeah. to the sound of thunder and storms. It's weird. I feel like like I'm a dog afraid of like fireworks <laughs> coming here because <laughs> like we have monsoons and stuff in Arizona, oh. but not like this. <laughs> like the thunder here is so loud and so close. Mm. What's my favorite part of the game so far? The fact that I can play it with a bunch of friends. Right, Shen? <laughs> <laughs> God, I wish. <laughs> I'm I'm enjoying this video game very much. <laughs> yes. Oh, here, let me I'm curious enjoyment. Um, okay, where is... Where is Poi? Sorry, I stopped because I wanted to go back to sharing my screen on Discord. There we go. Uh, uh -huh. Also, this game you can climb like uh, a certain other game. You know, that game. That game that you can climb. That game that you can climb. What the heck is up with this tree? Where did you go? Uh, over here. Uh, let's see, where's Poi? Poi is below us, over here. There they are. So you can't move <laughs> at all? I can't move at all. I can only move my camera. I'm trying to describe this oh. situation to them in a bug report now. Oh no, you might end up in the same thing as me. Uh, are you sure? It looks like you should be able to move. Nope. Uh, nope. You, can't move at all. Are you just are you typing in chat? Is that the thing? Nope. I cannot move. Sh share your at screen. All. I want to see. Lich, hold on. Let me stuck finish typing clip. this real mm -hmm. quickly. Uh, uh, wanted to jump into the water. Yeah, can that's. Slingshots or something? Can we like shoot? Is there really <laughs> no. not? Do they not have like a teleport command or anything? They do. They you can teleport to your home, but only once every ten minutes. Um, uh, rather uh, after you do it, it's on a ten minute cooldown. Um, how long is the cooldown for you right now? So you see my screen, right? Right. Yeah. See, I'm very much in game. Like yeah. I'm pressing I. And cannot move. Cannot move. Weird. Can I move? Can I select items? Oh, I can do this. That's about can it. You can, you you can mine. <laughs> I think once Boy. the timer resets. I just gotta wait. Uh, got a minute left. <laughs> oh, I mean, at least you'll be out, but I would still send that bug. That's report. really weird. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, Sedani Noko. No, I don't think we can like knock people over. <laughs> They're not a bug, yeah. Echo. <laughs> They're they have a bug. <laughs> <laughs> I, I the submitted the bug report. Yeah. Just throw your smoke bombs so that we can stun <laughs> the bug. Just like I, the in the I guess, I guess, stun, stun the like bug. any reasonable person, I'll just... Hoe down. Wait, can I, can I move with the hoe? Hoe down. Oh, it kind of looks like you are. Hold the down. hoe's allowing me to spin. Is that like collision with... Players no. So what happened was I jumped and I think it tried to spawn me on the wall and it oh, this you a jumped part in of the, the water. Wall. Yeah, I. Oh uh, yeah, there's so no you know swimming the, yet. I have the little, 
I have the little thing that try the battery. Oh, that says the door behind the waterfall. And I didn't read the door bit, and I just read battery waterfall behind waterfall, <laughs> and I saw a big waterfall. So I was like, oh, waterfall, jumped in. <laughs> My love, you're running out of your your smoke bombs for um, bugs. Oh, no. Oh. So, yeah, I jumped in, and, uh, yeah, you, yeah, you see how it teleports you? And uh, it teleported me here, and now I am stuck. Hmm. Weird. Of course, I managed to break this. Mm-hmm. Bug report. Beta is beta. I, I'm trying to see if any of these help me wiggle out. No. <laughs> okay. Um, can I fish from here? Yeah, try to I fish. can fish. You can fish. <laughs> someone hey, suggested. No, yeah. I can't. No. Okay. Well, someone suggested logging out and back in. Ah, uh, it's fine. All right. I've, I can return home now. All right. There we go. I just had to wait eight minutes. <laughs> Do I have a referral code? I've got a login code, like a uh, refer a friend thing. I don't know if I should give it publicly, but. I'm gonna be so oh, they have a public channel on the. They have it on a public to share it on the okay Discord. Yeah. Okay. So if they have a if they have a chat for it in Discord, then I'd imagine you're allowed to share it. Oh yeah, you're able to move now. Okay, so it was just. That weird area, yep. huh? Weird. Oh, whoops. Um, Wait, I, I do have a question. They, I am they went a little home. confused by some of this stuff. Hey, I will say. Like what? Like uh, like certain things, like uh, Wait, see, like obtain uh, the recipe open the for map stone and then smelting. You go from Hidori at the mining level two. To the what? right, you see the house means. right there. Yeah. Oh, oh uh, top I right. See you on the map. Yeah, top but, right. Return home. You see it? Yeah. Yes. Sorry, there are multiple people asking me questions. Uh, Poi, what was your question? Uh, where is it? Where you see where it says obtain the recipe for a stone smelting from Hidori at mining level two? How do I? What? Oh, you gotta mine enough to level up to level two. Oh, I am level two. You are level two. Then buy it from Hidori. I don't know where Hidori is. Uh, look on the map. Ah. I didn't. I thought Hidori might have been. Right? Uh, Say again. That's the general store, right? I don't know. I don't. I'm not familiar with all of the NPC names uh, yet. Ooh, I thought you were like pro gamer. <laughs> yeah. What the? What the? Yeah, pro. Pro just means that I get paid to do it. Not that I'm good at it. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a really good like caveat. Uh, Hidori. Hidori. <laughs> Where are you? What? I don't know where Hidori is. Hmm. There is a second map, so... Uh... If you go, I think, east... Did they bugger off? Maybe. Boss. Oh, I can't say that one. <laughs> <laughs> I just said boss. <laughs> boss. Boss, 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 oh, boss, 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 boss. There we go, ref. Cry. <laughs> Alinthi. <laughs> Learn how to cook. Yeah, Alinthi. Yeah, if you're wondering, no Linthy today, uh, chat, because, um, Fel and Logan are at Gen Con right now. Oh, Hello. It is, yeah. You. How did you Hold T. T. <laughs> Ref, where are you? What have you got to do? I'll follow you around like a lost puppy. Woof 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 I thought they were very good at keeping my jeans clean during farming. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I tried to go with red, but it's kind of like pink. It's, yeah, it's like a maroon. Alright, let's see. I'm making fajitas this week, but I ran out of onions. If you bring me some, I might actually cry because of the onions. I love fajitas. Okay, alright, he wants onions. Oh. 
So here, here is the cash shop for those interested in how this game does monetization. And a thousand uh, Palia coins, Palia, is approximately ten dollars. So you can just move the decimal two points forward. Um, and you can see that it's like this set is seventeen dollars. I'm looking for this one's about approximately twenty-five, etc., etc. Uh, what does it say on the map? Oh, well, I think it doesn't show them anywhere. There is oh, a Sam. second map uh, to the far right. You guys want to follow me? Follow me! Oh, oh, oh! Go, go, go! Here. Chase after I'm, the cat! I'm following, Joe, I'm following! <laughs> That's the wrong cat! Where is Joe? With my eyes! Oh, the, well. the green name, man. Sorry, someone looked like you. <laughs> it's okay. I, I do look like a generic person. Generic Light, light skin, black hair. And glasses. <laughs> and glasses. Follow me, I'll lead the way. Oh, the problem with fixing my sleep schedule is I'm already tired. Right. I'm already eepy. The missile is eepy. The missile is eepy. I need to, I need to take videos of Otto sleeping and then zoom in <laughs> for that. Just, Just a sleepy guy. Just Otto sleeping, sleepy yeah. Guy. I'm gonna do that this week. I'm just gonna take videos of him napping and then put it to that audio. I love this little man. This man is my whole existence. Yes, yeah, so far the only uh, microtransactions seem to be cosmetic only, and I hope it keeps. It, they keep it that way. I saw, uh, I think, a blog post where they addressed it and talked about it, and they said that they will, at least they said on the blog post, never be changing that it will always be cosmetic i'll hold them to that so. now how expensive the cosmetics get are hmm. <laughs> yeah i mean i kind of get the cosmetics being that expensive if you aren't um if you aren't charging anywhere else you know what i mean yeah we're all gonna have and a different tolerance for price alive. though yeah, like it, it is still a live range. service game. Did Does I, that make sense? Yeah, did I lose you guys? Did you see where I went? I think hold on, we let went me come into back. a different instance. Yeah, it, uh, hold on. Are you guys, when you open the map, are you guys in like a, yes, okay, you're in the proper new area. Yeah, we're in a different instance now, so hold on, let me go back to the map. I thought you oh, guys just. I, I see the person I need. Yeah, you see the person you need to talk to? Yeah, there we go. So they sometimes come here as well. Oh, dare you run away from me! Oh, I cannot stop yawning. Jeez. Let's put me over Get here. Get back here, you scoundrel. Oh, so I had like COVID like a couple weeks ago. Like, oh, damn. Oh, it's like mm. my second time having heard it. It's very annoying. Um, but the thing that has been like lingering is that my sense of smell is a little messed up, so I keep smelling smoke. Oh yeah. Which is so annoying. Mm. Yeah, I get that. Echo, my love, I invited you to our instance. There we go. Wait. Do I have to spend money for the recipe? Yes. So we gotta. Oh, that's why I, I was like, I want to farm because farming is the best way to make money that I've found. <laughs> oh, oh, how do I farm? I would love to farm. So you should go back to your house. Um, I'm gonna go back to my house because I planted some things and I gotta water them. Oh, look at all these plants. Echo, my love, where are you? There you are. I see you running across the, ra the lake. Can you do like joint homes then instead of just having your instance? I don't know. You can visit homes. Here, I'm going to go to my home and I'm going to invite you guys. Yeah. Uh, so we can we can test Is that out because I actually you? don't know how much interactivity you can do in another person's I'm, home. So we can try I that out. I wonder if you set up a community, you could do it. That's what I, I don't know. I yeah, like a guild like hall. FC. Yeah. I guess we'll find out. Can you swim? So far, no. I do hope that they add in something like that because it's a little inconvenient to fall into the water 
like and this current setup of like if you walk in the water you just spawn out of it i hope so we i we we don't really know what their plans are for that okay i'm gonna go to my house i cannot return home because it's on cooldown so i'm gonna walk there Oh God! I thought there was oh, land there. That, that was yeah. <laughs> I was blindly following you, and then I was like, "Wait a minute!" The land stopped, <laughs> and I just see you go off the edge. <laughs> if your friend jumped off a cliff, would you? No. Yes. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. No, because I'm dumb, and I make f a friends with other people of equal intelligence. Sometimes a little smarter. Uh, I would, but that's because we both around. didn't see it at the same time. <laughs> not, not because I'm following them off the cliff, just ah. because I was following them. Yeah. Oh, I don't know how if I can make that actually. To play this game? What do you mean? How desperate am I to play this game? Because I'm really, really, really EP, and if you would really like, I could let you borrow my account to play a bit with another one. Is that bad? I don't know. No, I'm giving you permission as a friend. That's not bad. Uh, the question is, what is that against terms of service? Like That's account sharing. Account sharing is a big no-no. In a lot areas. of games. Well, it's not sharing. It's a one-off. That still, no, that doesn't matter. That's still account yeah. sharing. <laughs> it's not Leave account sharing. It's to... account polyamory. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I would play it safe. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Well, well you get uh, banned. It's, for like learning reasons, it's gonna be easier. Yeah, to just that's start true. Fresh. I just wanted to offer. No, it's good. I'm doing good. I'm working on Birdhaven. I'm, I'm doing fine. Believe me. So, what are you posting your Comic Con? Uh, I have my own website. Hold on, I can, I can link it. Yeah. Ooh. yeah Will on. you be posting it also on comic websites? Mm, I've been thinking about posting it on Webtoon, but that means I have to completely change the entire, the entire way that, like, the pages work. Because it's page by page instead of, like, long form. Because that's how I want it to be. Oh, how do I get can you through see... Like, how long? Can't you? Because, like, mm, uh, not, not is, really. Is one yeah, but, no, 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 this is not, this is not one of, this is actual, like, A comic. series pages like actual oh, pages yeah if you if you if you look on it it's like it's go it goes by page by page so it's like serial yes does shen need a code no i gave her a code but it didn't work for some reason <laughs> yep the, it said it was how already did you redeemed. get more seeds by the way yeah which it shouldn't have been already redeemed uh because it's a new code that i got from the community manager yeah. How do you get more seeds, by the way? You buy Jen? them. Where do you buy seeds? Oh, I'm A broke. general goods store. How do you make money? Uh, sell plants. Again. So, I... what you do is yep. you see that how there's this box next to your mailbox? Mm -hmm. You put things in there, and the next day you will get money. Ooh, okay. What can I put in here? Pretty much anything. I would sell maybe some various oh. different, like, woods and stones to start but not all of them because you'll need them for crafting um oh this is massive i didn't realize how big this was also good quality of life you can put all your materials in your storage and when you go to craft it pulls them from storage oh that's awesome that's good yeah so you don't have to keep it on your person animal crossing <laughs> Looks at Final Fantasy XIV. Looks at Final Fantasy XIV. Looks at Animal Crossing. Looks at Minecraft. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm going to cook some mushrooms. Grilled mushrooms. I'm finally going to have some food after all this time. Can I sell my old tent? I wonder. <laughs> there we go. And I'm going to eat. There we go. Nom, nom, nom. Nom nom nom. It will not. What? Can I not just get oh, yeah. rid of this old tent? That it's just taking up an inventory slot. I don't want it. Uh oh. Also, you should build some storage. Uh, unless you already have built some storage. I 
have. It's just I wanted to. Oh, I can throw away. There we go. Wait, yes, no, don't throw. Oh, could you not sell it? No, I tried. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I trust me. I tried that first. Why? Why would you throw it away then? <laughs> because I don't need it. I have my house. Oh, you started building a house. House. Yes. Oh. That's why I'm trying to get the the stuff so I can build it. Oh shit! You're ahead of. I mean, shoot! You're ahead of me. <laughs> waiting for my plants to need uh, watering again. I'm just kind of going around. I'm still just learning how to cook. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll fish. I think I can sell fish, right? Oh, it's daytime. I need to go talk to Einar so I can fish. Oh, wait. You have to go to Einar to fish. Uh, I th wait, no. He gave you a fishing rod. That's right. Never mind. He just, like, starts the yeah. quest for fishing. Never mind. My mistake. My mistake. Mistake. It's funny I'm because it's spelled like mistake. Is this PC or Swatch? This is PC. I do Swatch. not know if they have plans to release on consoles. They How might does have this said. Work? I'm confused. How does. Well, How does the question. fishing work? Uh... This minigame is a bit confusing. So, how fishing works. I actually get to show chat because I'm a fishing master. Here, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show chat. Check it out, chat. So what you do is you you cast your lure, and then you got to wait until not a nibble, but a full bite on, on, your, on your bait. So if you see a nibble, don't reel in yet because the fish is just nibbling. Just nibble. And then when you hook on the fish, you got to keep, when you're reeling in, uh, the fish is going to move around and you want to keep them within the parentheses. If you reel in while the fish is outside of the parentheses, you risk breaking your line. Oh, it's moving left to right. Like yeah. Mouse. Okay, that's what I was trying to work. I got a boot. Fishing minigame. Yeah. Every good game, every good open world game has a fishing minigame. <laughs> Switch. Ocean fishing? Did I did I hear ocean fishing? Ocean, ocean fishing. fishing. God, I was so obsessed with ocean fishing. Um, Joe's got more I... like uh, the big mount that you can get if you. Um... Yeah, I got the mount, and Fish I've shark. never been able to reach that same amount of points ever again. Nobody does. Once you have the shark, it's like a curse on your being. Mm -hmm. Switch pl I I release is planned. I see. Okay. Cool. I also, speaking of Final Fantasy XIV, once life calms down a bit, I was thinking about story resetting and going through the story again. Uh, yeah, you you don't need to up. reset. You can play New Game Plus and just go oh, through just with your remember. current character. Yeah, I just don't remember the story too well, so I just wanted to basically play the quests again, but that's about yeah, it. Yeah, you can do that. I would recommend not making a new character. Because no, I don't really want to go for a Realm Reborn underleveled again. Yeah. Um. Just because, like, it's been so long, I would ki I kind of want the beginning experience without the actual beginning experience. Yeah, the, the beginning process. experience with the convenience of flying. Yeah. You were going to say something, Chen? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I'm just drawing, don't mind me. Yes, it is It is classified as an MMO, but it's this um, kind of newer subgenre of MMO that I like to call MMO light. You know, things like your destinies, your... Uh, what's another one? Like your... The Division, I think that's it. Uh, the ones where it's like, there's a decent amount of players in an instance, but not huge like MMOs of the past. When does this game full on? Is it the 10th, I think? I don't right? know. I think I saw the 10th. I this know open beta, open beta is in like two or three weeks. Yeah, which, yeah. Oh, shit. I was only wondering because I want a friend to play, but. Mm -hmm. Is that I friend of me? No, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I yeah, Fallout 76 is another one. Yeah, where it's like pseudo MMO light. Fishing. I'm fish. 
Does Fallout have a fishing mini game? It does not. Then it's inferior. It's inferior, yeah. It is bad. What do you do with the I will say... Oh, that's another thing. Fish is a good way to make money. You can sell fish if you don't have seeds for plants. That's what I was doing. Yeah. You were going to say something. I, I interrupted you, Poi, like the rude boy I am. I don't remember what I was going to say, to be honest. Darn. This keeps happening. This keeps happening. Oh, I we're forgot. All... Wow. I'm really tired. I was like, wow, the fish is biting, and I just did nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I wonder who I that's like for. I feel like I'm a sort of person to like watch something happen. I'm like, wow, that's happening. I'm gonna do nothing about it. I'm just kind of in one of those. I'm just a bit of an uh, head right now. Understandable. I don't know. I was thinking about my friend playing, and I was sad that they can't play with me. Hmm. Yeah, me too. But Their name is Shen Pai. Yeah. Yeah. Who else am I supposed to smooch in romance? <gasps> I do hope that they kind of end up, like, you can maybe if, uh, reach a certain level and you can get a co-op instance, uh, so you <laughs> and someone else can, like, share, you know? Because, mm -hmm. like, people are like, uh, you and Echo, I'm sure you guys would like a little shared instance, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> What? I think you can, hey. when I was playing with the devs, uh, you can invite people to your house. I just forget how yeah. to do that here. I only have the option to kick to party, uh, kick from party. I, and... I don't know what Shen was insinuating. Don't I'm worry, don't, don't, mind me, don't, mind me, don't 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 mind me. I'm, I am so <laughs> effed up. It's fine. Don't worry. Yeah. I'm, no, it's okay. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to when they add sex in the game as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what you were insinuating. That did not even cross my mind. Wow. Well, I, I don't know if I'm innocent or just... I'm a little bit stupid. I just, no thoughts. Head empty today. No, no, no. Sex confirmed like, for Paleo. Like, oh, I awesome. feel like ranked I usually would fully get ranked, that. Ranked but... competitive sex. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I love that. It's all like what casual sex ranking? insinuates yeah, that yeah, there's yeah. ranked competitive yeah. sex. <laughs> hey, Shen. Unfortunately, I'm work? bronze. Uh, I'm also bronze. Sorry. Nice. Oh. Uh, Shen, um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> want to do her some <laughs> <laughs> um, I can I can flex. <laughs> oh, I see, I see, I see. Um, so are you, what line do you play? Uh, usually I play. Uh, it depends for for for. Uh, it depends who I duo with. <laughs> oh, you see, I'm a challenger. So for like, if if we were to duo, I would be more like in the bottom lane. But like if it oh. was like a guy, I'd be in the top lane. <laughs> I see. I see. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh. Now, would you be the one to buy wards? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Always buy wards. Always I mean, use I wards, kids. I I am a Shen main. I use a lot of protection. <laughs> <laughs> Always that use wards. That ultimate is quite useful. Wards keep you safe. <laughs> yep. Mm. I might need a health potion. Is, is this a warm up to Alinthi? No, no Alinthi this week. Uh, Fell and Logan are at Gen Con, so they will not be able to play. Where is Gen Con this year? Is it still in Philadelphia? Let me see. Gen Con 2023 is uh, Indianapolis, Indiana. I, I love. Uh, sorry, thought just came to my mind because Echo said it, being like, "Oh, you're so innocent." I'm not innocent. I'm just half the time too head empty to flirt. <laughs> and then I'll randomly be like, yeah, here's all the innuendos, and that's me done for a month. <laughs> no more thoughts. I can't put string thoughts together anymore. That or I'll just, ra I'll just like, one day, I'll just be like, yep, and now I will riz the fuck up out of this person, I'll fluster riz. them, and then just go back to being an absolute dumbass. Listen, my... It's like sleeper agent. <laughs> sleeper agent flirting. Yeah, it is. I'll like have no riz for a month, and then randomly I'll just be the most rizzed up person ever, flustering all my me, friends, and then I'm done. And me and me and my friend Nep, we had a talk because we're both like the same flavor of like insane. Because we flavor? love just teasing boys. It's just so easy. Oh, is it? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not. I don't. <laughs> 
see you guys. Maybe, maybe perhaps... I know too many bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, when well, then... did when did Jogat get into testing? Uh, I actually the devs reached out to me like uh, about a month ago, so that's when. Also, Poi, maybe you're not, yeah, maybe you're just not finding the right boys. Mm -hmm. I I but think I'm sorry for that. I think in the nicest way. How do I put this? I never need to try <laughs> when yeah. it comes to guys. You just uh, accidentally do it. I just start info dumping about League of Legends builds, and then suddenly it's like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> this worked. I just info dump about something, and then they're like. I, I, it, it's like I'll info dump about something and they're like, do, do you love me too? And I'm like, huh? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Anyway, back to my... Anyways, this is what I, uh, this is what I build uh, against Mundo and Top Lane. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here's my, me trying to explain art to you and the techniques I go through and how like it's a step-by-step -step process and I'm explaining shading to you. What the fuck? <laughs> Dipper, how did you get your hands on these? Oh. Is Dipper hanging out? What's Dipper doing? I don't know. <laughs> I just I just feel like when I flirt with women, their reactions are just way cuter. Huh? How did you do that, Dipper? What the heck? Wait, what's going on? Why do you have these codes? <laughs> what? What happened? I have. I can download it. <laughs> oh wow! It, okay. Oh, <laughs> so so Dipper's code works. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, Dipper, you got codes like multiple? Let's get the game. Yeah, Dipper gave me two to test two? out. The first one worked. <laughs> Let's go. And I have. I don't have it. Okay. All right, you That's... have it now. All right, awesome. I guess. Thank you, you Dipper. You might have accidentally given the same code to someone. No, well, the developer, I mean, I, rather, the, the community manager gave me my code, so I don't know what... Maybe there was a mix-up. Like, because, yeah, because Poi, the code I gave you worked. The, the code oh, I gave... What? Echo and now worked. I just gotta... I, someone just sent me... What the heck is going on? You ask oh, and you shall hey, receive. Oh, I just... I just got sent a code for Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. What? From, wait, hold on. Hold on. Let me check my email. <laughs> Even though I already have the game. Can can oh, I can, can I smiles? <laughs> can I please? <laughs> Just, I don't I don't I will beg on my I knees wish, right now. I I wish just you could already preload it. It's so stupid. I uh uh, okay, I, thank God. I All right, I got my one too. To right. Right now? Okay. Did you also just get it? Yeah, just now. I checked my, my business. <laughs> I, I checked my business email. I was gonna. I actually, I was gonna be a little offended of like, wait, they gave Shenpai like, okay, you're you're a big streamer, <gasps> you're cool, but they didn't give me a code. But no. I can't believe it that you would be so offended. <laughs> no, 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 not not at you. At 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 that I wouldn't. You know, not not Joe at you Kat getting jealous, one. Jealousy arc. <laughs> yes. Don't you know who? Who I am. Don't I make you know I make don't funny you videos own, on the don't internet. Don't you already own it already as well? Yeah, but it's the it's the you know it's the principle it's of the it. Thought that <laughs> Listen, uh, I've brought mm. Wizards of the Coast so many new players and money. You have no. I, I'm, I'm, sorry, my head is getting too big for my room. <laughs> it's the principle of it. If they gave you a code and not me, I would I would write them a strongly worded email. I would I would. Oh. I would call upon Mr. Mercer himself and go to war. I'd be like, Matt, do you know what they did to me? And then he would be like, what What they do to you, Joe? Because he's a sweet guy like that. And I'd be like, they didn't give me a code. And, I'm like, and then he would oh, be like, do you Joe. already own the game? And I'd be like, yeah. And then you're like, oh, well, then Joe, what's the problem? Make, make sure. I don't know if, if you still have it, but make sure to delete all of your files. Yes, I saw game. that. Yes. Uh, Ian sent me in a message of like, hey, I don't know if you mm -hmm. saw this, but they, yeah, they tweeted out, and that goes for everyone. If you have early access Baldur's Gate, delete all your saves. Make sure it's all of them as well. If it's previous builds of the game, there's like a hidden little thing where you gotta do a drop know. down. Is there cloud save? Can we remove the cloud save? Uh, I don't know, but I know that like saves of the previous builds of the game are, are there, but they're like hidden. They're not in the saves menu. Um, you have to like, well, they are, but you gotta like find them oh uh, never mind we're good we're good we're yeah good. but delete all your saves and uninstall the game because um steam yeah. is a little wonky with early access to full release and uh mm -hmm. because baldur's gate is an anomaly of of work and a video game 
that's actually black magic, and I don't know how okay, it works. Okay, so I have Pally now, but I won't be able to play it today because I am still downloading, and I'm currently only at 4%. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Oh, so, at, at some point, we can play it together. I don't think it'll be today. <laughs> well, I'm glad you have it now. Thank you, Dipper. Shout out to Dipper. Shout Thank out to you. Dipper. Let's go. Her codes are just better than mine, I guess. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Even though they don't have the Voxer, the Voxer haircut, I have to make a Voxer character just so the name doesn't change. Yes. <laughs> That's fair. You know what? Listen. Yes, I'm, I, 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 I'm, I'm dropping my one, another F-bomb. I have to create my fuckboy. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. Listen, I've already accepted the fact that I will always play second, third, fourth fiddle to many fictional men because they are just perfect. Yeah. Like uh, yeah. Garrus Vicarian, shout out to Garrus Vicarian. Oh yeah. No one will ever live up to Garrus, and that is just a reality that you got to accept. We got to accept as guys. We'll never be Garrus. We will never mm -hmm. be Garrus. Also, this is the the alternate. Uh, like this person, uh, she's pretty cute. I think this is a potential romance option for me. She's. I like her. She's cute. Wait, hold on. I'm the, trying the to one... look. I'm trying to look. I'm trying to look. I'm trying Your to look stream's not running, Jay. My stream's not. Yeah, oh, oh, just, on Discord. I see. Off. Yeah, you turned it off. Share my screen. What about the one like daughter for is uh, a library or something? I. Who's kind of? She's kind of punk rock. Okay. Yes, that other one. Yes, uh, her or this girl. Um. I materialize oh. from the void. She's like, I'm bored. Come entertain me. Yes. Oh, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Kenley sent me. Uh, question. Some of you guys have already. Have you played Baldur's Gate 3? Because I was. I have. I During early played... access. Dude, okay. early access I... was so glitchy. Yeah. <laughs> I recently. Uh, not recently. Like, this past. Th two months? I've been playing Divinity 2. <gasps> and I'm going to be honest with Love you. Love Divinity. Fucking love that game. Might be my it's new, really my new good. favorite game. That's and then I feel I, I feel Divinity. blessed because I've gotten into this genre right as Baldur's Gate is about to come out, and I'm like, yeah, that is that is the game that basically made me have faith whenever they uh, announced that the same studio is walking uh, working on Baldur's Gate. I'm like, okay, this is gonna be the best game ever. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been watching I mean, my friends bear play. sex. <laughs> oh my fucking shout out God. to bear. Uh, shout out to bear sex and the Harkness test that passes the yeah. Harkness. Also, <laughs> I love that it's like, it's it's so D and D because you know someone's thought. Okay, so they're a druid, right? They can transform yeah. into any ma animal. Do you think they kind of? And you know what? <laughs> you get to explore that in Baldur's Gate, uh, yeah, and that yeah, is yeah, the yeah, most D and D yeah. thing, is yeah. like trying out random nonsense so yes basically during one of their live stream events they had uh, the audience pick like decisions and stuff and there is one companion uh no not companion character i think the player character or is it is it, is it a companion character is it an npc i don't know what it is but basically if you're a druid you can transform into animals right and there's romance yeah. in the game and uh sex scenes and, you know, when you're a druid and you can turn into animals, and if you're on the freaky side, you want to try some stuff. And uh, <laughs> they showed my boy Asterion, uh, Asterion get, so getting hot. it down with a bear. Well, uh, they didn't a show druid. it. They insinuated it. They insinuated it. And it got them, it got them banned on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, it faded to black, basically, that he was bonking the bear, yeah. Bonkin' the bear. Bonkin' the bear. Also, this is Einar. He's great. He he is romanceable. Or is it they? I don't actually know their pronouns. I've been skipping the dialogue because I have a hard time focusing when I'm hanging out with my friends because I'm just happy having a good time with my We're friends. Having fun. Having a good time. Yeah, having fun having with a your good friends. Time. Well, one of them is downloading. Is that 15%? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, uh. What do you want? How similar to Divinity 2 would you say is in like gameplay and that charm? Uh, you know what not I mean? Charm, yes. Gameplay, no, because the gameplay is 5e. I think that the I mean, way that I meant, like, you do checks top is down much better. Kind of like, oh, it's, it's top around. down. It's yeah, still, yeah, it's it's still semi top down. So, you know, Poi, you've been playing DD, right? With okay. me, like in Heart of Alinthi. Yeah, I You're, should know more now, but it I is, don't. It is still. going to play one to one, basically like that, like uh, yeah, almost I like D and D, except without that. the talking. 
It did feel kind of cool. Okay, I did feel a little bit like I knew something about D and D <laughs> when I uh, my friend was playing, and he he knows about D and D but has never played, mm -hmm. and he was uh, making oh, I think it was a warlock, mm -hmm. and we were talking about spells, and I was like, oh, get hellish rebuke. I remember that shit being hella fun. Yeah, and they see? were like, oh really? And they were like, yeah, and they tried it, and we're like, holy shit, hellish rebuke is great. It's just a reaction. I was like, yep. Yeah, see, <laughs> you know some D&D &D stuff, so now you can flex your knowledge on friends who don't. I say, uh, now that like, it's in video game form with Baldur's Gate. Um, and they were a bit confused about how things move, and I was like, well, if it's like D&D, &D, um, you want to, like, you get your action, your bonus action, and then your set amount of movement. Mm -hmm. And then, like, they were going to move away out of combat. Sorry. And I was like, don't. You'll get attack of opportunity. And I was right. And I felt so, I felt so nerdy, but so cool. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool to see the translation of the rules into video game form. I know my knowledge is very basic, but it was kind of cool. Hey, Gaijin Goomba's in the chat. Hey, what's up, man? What? Fable hey. looks different. Yeah, uh, I'm still so sad that Fable Legends didn't happen. That looked like such a fun time. I love isometric competitive multiplayer, but it just wasn't meant to be, I guess. There is there is one thing in Baldur's Gate 2 that I like more than Divinity, though. It's the checks. Yes, I like the skill checks in Baldur's Gate a lot more than Divinity, because Divinity is just like a, a pass-fail. If you didn't pump enough stats, you just don't get it, and it's yeah. kind of annoying. Whereas, also, like, with, yeah. with Baldur's Gate, you have a chance. Yeah. And and you can pump like stats to make dice. it better, yeah. And yeah. um, and also the that. armor system in Divinity, I will say, towards the end, the armor system was a little annoying. How like there's both physical armor and magic armor, and if you build a mix instead of just focusing on one, then you're just basically fighting two health bars, which got a little weird. Like especially if the majority of your party, I think that happened to you, Shen. The majority of the party was physical, and like one person is magical, like. Mm -hmm then the magical yeah, person I'm, just does nothing. Yeah. I'm kind of dealing with that right now. Uh, that's why we stopped for a minute. I'm playing... Um, uh, I think... I, I can't remember what it's called. An aerologist. The, the, the lightning one. I've gone lightning. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I have a lot of magic armor, um, but not really much physical and a lot of the items I've been getting doesn't really give me much physical So pretty much if I encounter a physical thing, I just get one shot and I'm like, okay, guess I don't play the game Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> There's not many items that are beneficial from I guess found like, it can also be I also moments. like that D and D has way less mobility options, so you don't just like catch up to someone and then they just run away like in in divinity mm. um because in D&D, yeah, there's mobility spells, but, like, if you catch someone, usually you can lock them down. But in Divinity, it was so frustrating that everyone essentially had to teleport towards the end. And it made catching them, especially as a melee character, I remember Max having to run all the way over the map and just basically running out of action points to do anything because she had to keep catching up to people. So. Yeah. We... Ooh, what is that? I think the our biggest issue we found... Uh, the first, like, big boss to get off the island, right? I'm not going to say, like, too much about, right. you know, other things because I don't want to spoil it for people. Um, that was such a bitch because we would try to do something clever, like, we tried to use our brains and it just went, nope, and would teleport on top of us and we're just like... What was the point of giving us the option then? Like, it just felt so useless yeah. sometimes. Like, you would do something of, oh, um, we feel like stuff's going to happen, so we're going to set up and we're going to be out of sight, and then it just goes, nope, you don't, yeah. you don't get to do that. It, it does have a little cheaty AI sometimes, especially when you do things like taunts or like, oh, they can only use spells on you. I, I think just taunts, but then they would use an AoE. It's like, oh, well, then what's the point of doing a taunt then if you're just, you can just AoE everybody anyway, you know? Oh, and there was one certain character in a cave um, that spawns bugs, right? Mm -hmm. We, I... <sighs> It got to a point where we kind of ended up having to basically metagame it, which I don't like doing, where you keep dying, so we just preemptively know where everything's going to be and just yeah. try, which isn't the worst, but it takes the fun out of it sometimes. 
Yeah, um, and that's yeah. Me too. Like I love l l like uh, don't get me wrong, chat. I my time with uh, Divinity was great. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I, I think it would I would consider an overall positive experience. But there were some times that it was a little frustrating to play. Um, which I appreciate that Baldur's Gate is going to have customizable difficulty um, to get rid of the to to mince words the bullshit <laughs> uh, stuff that happens sometimes in these sort of classic RPGs. Mm -hmm. My only, I guess, gripe is let me be monsters. Let me be a monster. <laughs> like please. they are adding. Um, dra uh, they do have Dragonborn as a starting race at the very yeah, least. But like, let me be a kobold or like you know. <laughs> I just, I guess, like we've had D and D esque for quite a while now. Mm -hmm. Give us the more weird ones. You know, the less common ones. Yeah. No D and D today. Yeah, no D and D today. Yeah, m my guess is they had to stop eventually because, like, where do they stop? If they make this race, they'll have to make that race. So they eventually just drew the line here. My faith yeah. is in modders because there are, you know, goblin models already in the game, bugbears already in the game, but as NPCs. So I'm hoping modders can somehow find a way to make that playable. What game? Game? Oh, am I out of arrows? Oh, that's why. I thought it, I don't know why I thought it was infinite. Okay. What do you, what do you do with Can I only hunt things with a... I think you can sell them. Can you only hunt things with a bow? Yes. Yeah, oh. Uh, is it hard to craft arrows? Do I have to go all the way home to craft them? Not sure. You can probably buy them at the general store. But also, oh, yeah, what's... you can craft them. Uh, I have to go home to craft them though, don't I? That's a little annoying for something as simple as arrows. But yeah, I I don't know. I I've been recently struggling with video games. I've been struggling for video games for about really half a year. And I was just like, nothing seems interesting. Nothing mm -hmm. was really piquing my interest. I was like, maybe I'm just not into games. I was just like, am I really just one of those people that just aren't into games? Like, I'd see my friends and they play something for hours and hours. Like, Elden Ring. I do like that game. Hi, Echo. Um, I really like Elden Ring, for example. But I don't want to sit down and, like, sweat my ass off and be stressed. Mm -hmm. You know? Like... The relief of beating a boss is fun, but I don't know if yeah, I it's not for do everyone. that all the time and for hours on end. I get tired. Mm -hmm. But then something like Stardew Valley is too slow for me. I get bored so easily, and I feel I don't do well with games with a lack of direction. Mm -hmm. Like just oh, here's a world and go do things. Uh, literally, Stardew Valley would have been perfect if they just had this list on the side. I'm liking this game because it gives me a list, and I'm like, yes, <laughs> I get to tick off a list. That makes my brain happy. Um, but uh, I just wasn't getting this stuff from games, and I started branching out to, like, not more unconventional, but, like, less stuff that was being suggested to me, like people, uh, less, I guess, common games, like, types that people like would indies? suggest. Yeah, indies or just like um, I would like I more like a, uh, I was trying out like city builders or colony like maker stuff or puzzle games. Kind of like not what you would first suggest someone. Yeah. Um, and I was loving it. I've been loving city builders. Uh, it's stress, but I like like it for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> I like this type of stress. And then um. I got to, I was umming and ahhing because I was looking at Divinity and I was like, it's kind of hard to gauge if I would like this by the look of it. And then I picked it up and, oh my god, <laughs> I, it's one of my new favorite games. It beat yeah. Terraria for me. It beat Terraria. It's probably my number one favorite game of the year that it came out. Uh, and I remember playing it back in college as well because it's actually starting to get kind of an old game now old relative it's not actually old but yeah. like i remember playing it in college and it was a it was a great time back then um but yeah like sometimes you just gotta delve into the deep end like that's why i always roll my eyes whenever those i don't mean to start any beef but sometimes when big streamers are like there's no games to play i'm like what are you talking about there's too many mm, games right now just you don't want to break out of your comfort genre yeah 
and sometimes it can be okay too. That's what I did with Fire Emblem. Like I was like, I don't like strategy games. And then I picked up Fire Emblem. I'm like, oh wait, actually I like this one. This one's good. Mm -hmm. I've definitely had some misses, but like, especially with You're demos. You're never gonna know unless you try God. it out. Demos, I, I'm i so glad that demos are becoming more and more of a thing again. Mm -hmm. Like, That's been making me so happy. Mm -hmm. oh, but yeah, I'm very excited for Baldur's Gate. I'm going to have so many playthroughs. I'm going to stream a solo playthrough, but I'm going to play with friends. Like, I'm going to have many different, like, alternate playthroughs with friends at the same I time. Which integration works this time. Mm. Oh, that'd be so cool. Because like, that um, was a little buggy when we what, played. What is the Twitch integration? Just looking at so, character sheets and stuff? No, the Twitch integration is that they can, uh, just, like, uh, vote on what oh, you should do. Oh, I see. Yes, I yes, that's I, right. I said I was gonna, I said I was gonna do that. I was gonna make two characters and let Twitch chat completely <laughs> control the other one. Yes. How do I know when these are done? They've been wet for a while. I guess I'll just leave them. It feels like it's been so long and nothing's grown. Wait, what? Oh, grow, uh... Grow faster! <laughs> they take multiple in-game days. Go faster! Yeah, welcome to Farming Sims. I'm impatient! Sims. <laughs> I'm impatient! I'm gonna scream at you! <laughs> it works! Oh, whoops. <laughs> uh, yeah, here's the thing. Item requests. I think this one uh, is the thing that you can request players to bring you stuff. A game recently, actually speaking on like, the topic of games, uh, that I found that was completely out of my comfort zone that I was pleasantly surprised with was Against the Storm. I don't think it's like a very small, small game, but it's like, when you think of, it's hard to say, because like, when you say like, oh, I'm playing a game, like things like COD or Fortnite or like Halo or st big names come to mind. Mm -hmm. But um, I like, I don't feel like, I feel like Against the Storm is doing well for like an indie game, but I don't know if it's really like, broken immediately out. like you know several I mean? people in the chat are just like big against the storm fans it's like against yeah. the storm is great <laughs> it's really good it's so i like city builders but i always get to a point where i'm kind of like this is getting a bit of a slog now like mm -hmm. i don't i'm not feeling it but against the storm it's just like you do runs basically it's like a roguelike city builder <gasps> no don't say that don't say that to me that's yeah, okay. <laughs> Do you want me to explain Against the Storm to you? No, well, uh, no, because I'm scared that it's going to eat up all my spare time. I'm a big roguelike guy. Okay, and I, I, I'm I can fearful. explain it to you, but you don't Do it anyways, do it anyways. Do it anyways. No, do it anyways. I, Baldur's life, Gate is already going to eat all my time. Ruin his life, ruin his life, ruin his life. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay. You won't, you won't be spending time on Against the Storm because it's Baldur's Gate, and I can just prod you in a couple of months and be like, <clears throat> Yeah, after, uh, after I'm game. done with my Baldur's Gate. Ruin his yeah. life! <laughs> but uh, can I please? I, I really like the game. I want it. <laughs> Also, what's great, uh, un completely unrelated, what's great about uh, if you get a st uh, high quality fish, uh -huh. like a starfish, you can put it on your plot. Mew, thank you for the okay raid. I... Was that an actual don't actually explain the game to you? Uh, no, you can go ahead. I was joking. Oh, but, okay, cool, cool, uh, cool, cool, Mew, cool, cool, thank cool. you for the raid. It's a, it's a Mew raid. Are, are Mew. those mangoes? What the heck? They are mangoes. They're dancing little mangoes. Wow. Like, wait, Mew, Mew, uh, it, Mew, just double checking. British Mew. I don't know. It just says Mew. M -E I'm double checking. M-E-W, uh, M-E-U-W-W. -W -W. Yeah, Mew, uh, uh, it's Poi, uh, one of Dandy's friends. Oh. I think we've played Overwatch together in the past. Whoa, Poi Poi, <laughs> yeah, hi hi. <laughs> British Mew. Sorry, I was like Mew. hearing that name and I was like, hold on. <laughs> But yes, explain this game to me. It's a roguelike city okay. builder. Okay, so um, I don't remember the story too well. Uh, my brain's going. Um, basically, you uh, have like your main big. S it's not a city. I think you can interact too much with, but it's you can use it to upgrade like a tree, right? So you have mm -hmm. your upgrade tree city, and you uh, will go to like different areas around. Um, like little plots and they'll have different resources and they'll tell you what resources they have. And depending on those resources, you'll want to cater your build mm -hmm. to like survive there better. So already you've got a building mechanic, love that. Um, 
and you get to choose like there's different races who are better at th uh, certain things like dwarves better at cutting stuff down uh i think humans or elven thingies are like better at farming and then uh lizards are really good at doing uh hunting mm. so you you kind of want to like make a build kind of sort of thing and cool. you load into these little worlds and you are surrounded by trees with little groves or little pockets in. You cannot see what those are in there. This is where we get the little Easter egg surprises. You've got to cut down those trees to open up those groves to find more materials, but it's it's randomized kind of what's in what there. The and what the fuck? random uh, events can happen and really bad events can happen if you get through it. Now, the more trees you cut down, the more hostile the forest gets, so bad, more bad things can happen. And mm. um, during the storm, like worse of status effects can happen. Like, uh, let's say you've got a really high hostility uh, during the storm, it will get really fucking hard. Uh, what's also really cool is as you're building, you've got to keep in mind the queen's requests. And the queen requests things for you, and you have to do them. And if you finish all of the queen's requests, you win. You win, and then you get to go home, and you go, fuck <laughs> you, village, I never see you again. And then you make another one, and then you go. And then each village that you make will help the next one. Because you get well, I'll have to. Houses. I'll have to check it out, because I'll be totally honest, a lot of that went over my head, and I need to see a visual. <laughs> okay, uh, you have village. Uh, you cut down No, it's, it's okay, it's okay, I'll check it out. <laughs> Okay, okay, I was like, I really like it. No! What, what happened? Uh, there's more mob merchandise! Huh? There's more mob psycho merchandise! Oh no. Oh no! At this time, it's expensive mer merchandise! Uh, they brought out, uh, I don't know if you know, super groupies. Um, they make a lot of, like, clothing aspect with shows. And uh, mm -hmm. they announced a Mob Psycho watch, and it actually looks kind of fire. <laughs> um, my my instance broke. Your instance broke? Yeah, I I crafted a smelter, and it's gone. Oh yeah, I've been experiencing some um, some server uh, issues as well, like some lag whenever I hit the tree, and it doesn't like actually chop. Uh, will, will, will it come back? Because everything else on my plot loaded but that. Hmm. But all my items are gone like I crafted it. Hmm. Well, that sucks. That doesn't feel great. Um, that's all of my stone and my smelter gone then. Um. I don't hmm. know. Is it not in storage? Uh, no, it's just gone. Ooh. I... Why am I experiencing all the bugs? I'm not enjoying this. <laughs> hmm. Yep, not in storage, not in my inventory. Weird. I, I guess the server lagged and the tick went back to before I placed it. That's the and best I guess I can. Everything. Yeah. Oh, that had some bad luck. That's not a really good glitch, to be honest. You could lose a lot of progress. Um. What just happened? Wow. Uh, Poi lost a bunch of stuff that they crafted, or a bunch of materials in an item they crafted, but it didn't show up. Uh, perhaps due to some server lag, which would be ah. very bad. Because I know it didn't refund me the materials, because when I go into the crafting, um, I can't craft it again. Poi, have you tried moving an item into the slot where the item would have been? I can try that. Let's, let's do that. Um, I guess... Nope, I can I can place it and it lets me. So it's gone. Mm. It's full on gone. Oof. Oh, they fix oh. that. Bug report. Again, I oh, I don't want to. <laughs> okay. Boy, it's 5 p.m. time for your bug report. <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> this is interesting. Whenever you craft a thing, you can choose what recipe you wish to learn next. I'm gonna get this fence. So it kind of incentivizes you to craft more stuff in order to learn. Okay, I'm submitting another bug report. Uh, I'm trying to see what Sorry, you're running into all these 
problems, man. You know what? It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> um, I don't want to log out right now. <laughs> Does Poise stream? They do. They're not streaming right now, but they do. Uh, don't Let's watch me. I stink. Oh. Um. Uh, uh, wait. I... Oh, okay. Huh? Huh? Sorry. I the, saw that. Yeah, the, the man just like was hovering and turning around. Spiffy it up. All right. <laughs> Um, I, I don't really know what to categorize this under. I put it under lag, because I think it was caused by lag, but, yeah. um, I, maybe I should just do, I don't know. I just Foundation. report a bug, I guess. <gasps> Whoa, I, do I have um, a proper full house? Wait a minute. Friends. Gameplay. I guess it's accomplishments. Housing, inventory. It, it's... I don't, I don't know what this would fall under. Um, visual issue, collision, friendship. No, that's not it. Accomplishments, housing, tools, inventory, cooking. I guess it would gameplay. Yeah, play select was specific. It was during in housing. Um, I guess general housing. Boy, you are really far ahead of me. I finally got my foundation. I know, I was grinding, I was fucking, I was getting the serotonin <laughs> pump in, I got my smelting, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get my house, bro. <laughs> now I'm stuck again. Um, fish, you will go there. Good fish. I guess it happened during a loading screen. Because I left and came back. Um, Upgrade. Contribute. So I need to give it sap, wood plank, and stone brick. Oh, I need a sawmill. That's what I need. Um, I placed the... <gasps> what was it called? What was it called? To make. Um, oh, hi. Basic smelter. I placed... Yeah. Basic... Yes, I need to buy the sawmill. Nice chatting with you. Hello. Unable to connect, please strike. I think the server is breaking. Yeah, I guess I saw to... Sorry, so, I'm downloading the game, that's why. Yeah, dang Germany. Sorry. <laughs> Always me. Taking all our internet single-handedly. Okay. Uh, which one are you romancing? Either that girl that I just met or another girl that I haven't shown chat yet. Um, because I haven't run into her, and I was wanting to go run into her so I could show you, but I think the server is pooping itself right now because there's a lot of people. Inventory? Can you what? Can you craft out of your stored inventory? I don't think you can. Oh, wait, your stored inventory? Like your storage? Yeah. Yes, it pulls uh -huh. materials out of your storage. That's fantastic. Storage. I like that a lot. There we go. And, uh, <laughs> you know what's, what's, uh, scary? It's gonna be it's gonna be even worse once open beta hits. They're gonna be running into a lot of server issues once uh, anybody can come in and play. I'm trying to explain the things I've tested just so they don't have to do it. Nayo, is that it? Elusia. Where's the... So one, the first one is that, that cute girl in the dress. And the other potential person that I am fancying... Oh, Invisible. This Sorry, is... Sorry, I don't know how to spell, so I'm asking. <laughs> I-N-V-I-S-I-B-L-E. That was uh, alphabet soup to me. All right, great. Uh, not this one, although I do like her as well. She's not romanceable, though. She's the librarian. It's the blue stuff. Sky and the sun. Yeah, humans. Uh, yes, you need a hoe. Uh, follow the quests. There should be one that tells you to teach you about farming. I can catch one for you. Is romancing optional in this game? I think so, yes. Pretty sure. I don't think they would force a romance on you. Nayo, is that it? The 
so many cuties in this game. Uh, not Nio, although he is also romanceable. He's a handsome little farm boy. Um, I don't really know how to provide a picture of this, I guess. Like, it's... How do I provide a picture of something that's gone? Um... <laughs> uh, uh, if you can't, so then I say don't worry about it. One time, I ordered a, a thing on Amazon. It was, like, a, a pair of shears, so it was really sharp, but they sent it in, like, a plastic envelope. So when I got it, mm -hmm. there was, like, a little hole at the bottom um, because the shears poked a hole and fell out somewhere in transmit, so they just sent me an empty envelope. And they asked for a picture of the items. So I sent them a picture of my hand with nothing in it. <laughs> <laughs> like, send a picture of what's wrong. And I was like, my item isn't here. That's what's wrong. So I just sent oh. them a picture of nothing. Did you get the item? They refunded um, me, and I ordered it again. But and that time it came in a box. So we have a small oh. issue. Uh -huh. I can only report one bug at a time, it seems, because I can only submit one ticket at a time. Mm. And you uh, submitted one about getting stuck? Yeah. Uh, well, if there's any developer watching this, uh, bug report. That is Poi, also a bug. <laughs> Poi crafted a thing and their materials are gone and they didn't get the thing. Uh, any bug report. Any devs? Uh, basically, to put it lightly... Placed my uh, basic smelter in my plot. I placed items in it, so it was active. I don't know if that helps. And then left my plot, and when I came back, it was gone. I also tried to move another item on top of where it originally was, and I could place that item, which meaning it was completely gone and not invisible. I found them. Here's the other potential option that I'm going with. Kenyatta, there she is. Oh, damn. So I get yes. Oh, damn, indeed. Sup, you're new, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Glorified City Hall receptionist. My parents run this place. If you have a problem, you should probably go to one of them. But if you want to get up to some trouble, hit me up. <laughs> damn. I was up late taking a long walk last night. Hopefully my mom doesn't see me sneak back through the window. Actually, scratch that. Hopefully she does, and it mortifies her. <laughs> Oh, she's bad, yes. In the best way. Yeah, either Tish or Kenyatta. Those are those are the ones I'm looking at. Because because I can't I, I can't I can't romance Sifu. Oh, apparently other people have also been experiencing that glitch. The glitch about lost oh. game data is going to be fixed in around two hours, they said on Discord. Okay. Oh, cool. So Hopefully. I'll get my smelter back? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> that is kind of weird that you can only submit one bug report until that request is fixed, though. Mm. I'm kind of scared to make more progress now until that's fixed, so I'm just going to fish. I think that's fair. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna fish. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. So, can Yeehaw. I invite you now? Oh, wait, yeah, my foundation is gone too. Oh, geez. What the heck? Do I still have it? No, it's gone. I've I've run oh. into the, the same bug. Well then. Well then. Well then. <laughs> Do you want to go fishing? Maybe we could go do the fishing quests together. Should yes, we start let's, that? let's go fishing. Hold on, let me water my plants. All right, let me go sell this fish I just picked up and empty my inventory of my yeah, worldly Yeah, I think what's happening... Because all I need is fish. Perhaps there's some rollbacks going on because of other bugs. So they're like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, rolling back to previous versions, but it's not rolling back our character's inventory or quests. That's my guess. I don't actually know what's going on, but I hope they fix it because, um, yeah, I would like my foundation. <laughs> no, you don't. What are you talking about? Yeah, I just live in a tent all my life. Yeah. Okay, I am on my way. Let's go fishing. Let's go fishing. Let me take a bite of my ramen because I'm still kind of hungry. I'm going to mute myself so people oh. don't have to hear me eating. I might go, hold on. I might go heat up some katsu. Actually, no, I'll do that later before I go to bed. So I'm going to bed with a full stomach. 
I didn't see the update or the news. Where is, is it in like in the announcements? Where did you find the update about the issue? Is it in the, like, in the Discord or something? Yep, uh, chat, my furniture's gone too. It's not in the tent. No! Yeah, uh, chat, where are you getting this information? Is it on the Discord? Are they announcing it? Because I'm trying to find that. It's a, it's a private Discord that they've given to um, certain creators. Oh. Uh, like me. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it was on the public Discord. <laughs> Someday. Someday I'll maybe, have a big enough dick. Maybe it is on the public Discord. I I haven't. Um, I'm sorry. Wait, what'd you say? Whoa, Mia, Mia, bite! Thank you for the raid. Oh, uh, Mia! Hey, Hello. dude! Everyone that I know is coming in. All the Brits are raiding you. All the Brits. Uh, we're currently I trying guess it to. It is Brit bread time. Trying to. We're struggling with Palea closed beta and it's definitely a beta <laughs> as we are yeah. experiencing beta issues like me trying to sell these yeah. fish but the fish keeps showing up in my inventory uh yeah. yeah some problems but thank you for the raid this is palea if you don't know it is an mmo based around farming and crafting they call it a cozy mmo um very little to no combat uh what little combat they have is just hunting um and I am just praying that they don't put the fish back into my inventory when I leave. Mia, let me know if you play this. I will happily play with you, lovely. Who are you hunting? Man. <laughs> I'm hunting after some robot right now. I see him. <laughs> I see him. Oh, I see him. Nope. Hello. Still, uh... Hello. Oh, the voice. <laughs> I'm ascending. <laughs> <laughs> how do I how do I make you mine? <laughs> huh? The robot. How do uh. I how do I make them mine? Like now. I don't want to wait. You're mine. <laughs> Me every time I see another soft spoken dominant woman in a video game. Oh, no normal functioning human being can make me react like this but a robot yes i would love to keep chatting with you <laughs> <laughs> sorry i'm just like losing my <gasps> We did not hear okay. any of that. Yeah, it's fine. It's fi It was inaudible screaming anyway. <laughs> he did the little. There we go. You know, now it's working. He, he 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 had to he had to like crouch down to talk to me, and I don't know something awoke in <laughs> me. <laughs> Yo, size difference is objectively great. Uh, I I don't know. I, that's not. I don't know. Robot. <laughs> Robot. <laughs> I, I, someone else is talking to him and I'm going ravenous. I want no <laughs> murder. <laughs> Get away. Let's see, where are you? I'm gonna go fish with you. There you are. Yeah, let's do some fishing quests. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hello, hello, friend. I, I... You just sold the starfish? Yeah, because I got frustrated that it kept showing back up into my inventory, so I said screw it. Happy, happy, happy. Happy, happy, <laughs> happy, 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 happy. Dude, I can fit between their legs. How fucking tall are you? <laughs> I know how. They're like 10 feet tall. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? Don't mind me. This is a precarious situation, but it's not... It's nothing weird. I... 
standard rod, minor rod health booster. Slightly increased fishing rod health Bye, when Mia. equipped. Bye, Mia. Thank you again for the raid. So what quest do you have? Oh, sorry, I'm so yawny. You seem to be outgrowing your current tool as a pubescent caterpillar might outgrow its cocoon. I would like to inform I you love, that I have new I recipes available. Yes. I, I, I don't know how to explain this archetype of just... Can't sell here, the, the, the conversation is now ended. Yes, thank you. You're so insightful. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I think you would love... Um, have you ever played Monster Prom? No. Oh, oh, wait, yes. I think a tiny bit. Do you know Calculester? No. Oh, I think you would like Calculester. He's just a, a friendly robot who wants to take care of plants and has plants growing in him. So, wife, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll wife him. And he's just so gentle and soft-spoken and kind, and he takes care of all of his little plants. I also really like the ones that are, like, friendly, but they just kind of spout information at you at any given time. <laughs> they don't know how to just... human. Yeah, and I love it. I love it. It's like, yes, please, just spout the randomest information at me. I think you would also please. like Data from Star Trek. I know it's an older show, and but... Data's great. What's the... I'm not super into Star Wars, but there was one Star Wars robot that I was kind of like, ooh, uh... Is it, it like the, a, the of... tall black one from Rogue One? That's yes. like... Could, yes. Like, you're being rescued. You're welcome. Or yes. something like that. I love that one. I love oh my god. dry I... humor and sarcastic he is. <laughs> I have never been more attracted <laughs> to a character in my life. I, I don't know. There was something about him, and I was just like... Yeah, please do not resist. Uh, that's him. <laughs> You're being rescued. Please do not resist. It's just, I don't know. It's just, oh. What, what is it about robots? They just have the funniest personalities, and I love it. It's because they can look like anything. And, and like, I think... But like, I want them to look like robots. I don't want them to, like, go too human. That freaks me out. Well, that that's the thing, right? It's like, the, they're like abstract enough that there's that appeal that it's not quite human but it's not like a creepy way like something trying to yeah. look human that's why maybe, um oh man maybe it's cause like I like shapes I like so I find when I look at a person what I find attractive about a person is like if they've got interesting shapes about them yes so I'm wondering if it's the same it's like the artistic of part of my brain is just at fireworks go off when I look at a robot because yeah. they're all shapes. Like, oh, just man. Like shapes and colors, sure. shapes and colors. Yes. It's <laughs> also just because of the abstraction of like, it's like a person boiled hmm. down to their purest qualities. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like the worst, like, oh, the worst is, um, oh, the biggest missed opportunity is Echo from Overwatch. Why did they give her a yeah. face? They really, the yeah. Should have just made it blank. She looked better in her concept art. Well, give, Given her little dot eyes. Yeah, dot yeah. eyes. That's why That's why I designed the Warforge and Alinthi the way they do. I try to make them not look human. Because they're not. They're robots. Robot asterisk. This, I know Warforge are technically not robots. There's a skin. Oh, wait. I need to show you. There's a skin for Echo that I think just gives them dots. And they turn into a slime. And it's really cute. Hmm. I'll, I'll find it after this fish. Actually, you know what? I'm impatient. I want to find it now. Oh, whoops. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I like robot designs that remember their robots. Now, that's not to say I don't appreciate Mia 2B every now and then. But, like, listen. Or what's her name from, uh, oh my gosh, uh, Mass Effect. The, the oh yeah, Edie. I, yeah. I, I like Edie, you know? Like, I don't mind me an Edie or a 2B every now and then. Like, Edie's really human. Yeah, she is very human. Like, look how cute. Versus Legion. Yes. Legion is the robot sexy that I like. Yes. Yeah, like that. L Legion? Little dots. Uh, Legion from Mass Effect. Mm. Hold on, let me let me show you. Legion, Mass Effect. Um, and he's great, and I love him, and he is 
kind of a dork and he plays video games like <laughs> he's a video game he's a gamer he's and he, he was reported that. he was reported for playing too well having inhuman reflexes which makes sense but all of the reports uh never went through but then one time he was toxic and that report went through <laughs> Uh, I love Mass Effect, and I love Lair of the Shadow Broker for having all the entries of, like, their purchase history and stuff. Shen, have you pl ever played Mass Effect? I think you would love Mass Effect. I have not. Easy. You would love Mass Effect. Yeah, have People have told me I would. Yeah, the characterization, like, the characters are so well written. Yeah. Hmm. Hold on, I think I actually drew Legion and lingerie Echo, once. Let me where find are it. You? Echo, do you want to come fishing with us? Echo's farming. Yeah, I'm farming. First, let me finish my farm. I finally finished the tutorial part of it, and so I'm uh, finishing the plot, and then I will. I might this down. be heading to bed soon. I am very tired. Yeah, it's tired. getting late yeah, there. Probably. By all means, like. Let's see. But before you do, I'm going to show you this thing I drew of Legion. Also, Legion admires you. I hate that Legion is not romanceable. Yes, some of the best characters aren't romanceable. Like Legion or uh, mm -hmm. Samara. All right, so this is... too, because it makes sense why they're not Yeah. but it just makes you want to romance them all more. This is a little, a little on the risque side, but I drew this because I'm like... Legion. Legion Wood. I'm not showing oh, chat. God. I just... Sorry. Very off topic. I just had the weirdest realization. Because I've talked to you, Echo, about how when I was younger, uh, I watched your videos. And same with Shen. I saw one of Shen's videos when mm. I was younger. It's so weird to think that you two played a part in my art journey as a kid. Oh. Wow. Like, that's just... I don't know. It's like... Because I, I know I'm young, right? But I don't feel that young. I feel like it's you like... never feel your age. Like, I don't oh. know. It's, it's <gasps> weird. I feel the same. Friend request from Voxer Elifiel. Oh. <laughs> oh. Get in here. Yeah, smooching. Oh, here boy, now. smooching time. I, yeah, I, it's just, it's just like weird to me. Because, I mean, like, during that I mean, era, I was such a little, like, shiny eyed artist. And,. I do miss those days. I just would draw for the sake of drawing. I, it mm -hmm. didn't have to be good. And I would just draw like Minecraft styled characters. Like I drew a very cubula. Yeah. As a kid. And then I got, I, I was really into Adventure Time, which is why I think I found oh, you. See, that's what I was telling Joe is like, that's uh, one of those videos that like, uh, this oh, channel yeah. started taking off. I definitely drew myself as an Adventure Time character after watching some of your videos. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, because I'm, I'm 23, right? So how old would I have been back then? Oh, that's a weird thought. Listen, we all started somewhere. Because, like, it's weird, right? Because we wouldn't have interacted back then because of my age. But now, the age I am now, we can i don't know if that's yeah. weird to think no of. You know it's, what I mean? it makes sense age matters less as you get older yeah age yeah as you get older yeah so it's like like yeah maybe video? like a 15 year old and a 20 year old a little weird uh yeah but a, a 20 year old and a 25 year old less weird a 25 year old and a 30 year old they're practically the same age yeah, they're yeah. The same. like how <laughs> that, that's How basically that wait video? echo that's just us that's just us <laughs> yeah i'm 27 <laughs> and you're 32 yeah that's like thinking of shadow of israfel and realizing it's oh my oh, god it shadow like... of israfel oh what a hit to the yeah. nostalgia how old is that now i think it's like coming up to 11 years <gasps> he's fishing with us oh my love sorry <laughs> <laughs> wait where are you it, i think it's we're at the pier. Uh, that's the, that's we're the big at the robot pier. boy, right? Yeah, big robot boy. Yeah. Come give him smooching. Uh, ooh. Yeah, he I'm is down. fishing with us. Oh, he's I think so cute. I, I, okay, I'm gonna look up how old so Shadow is. So literally, right? this uh, this robot is the reason that um, I wanted to play this game <laughs> because this was the thing. This is how Joe sold me on it. 
Do you want to know how old Shadow of Israfel is? How old is a Shadow of Israfel? 12 years. Oh my god. And, because, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if, like, I'm the, I'm at a weird generational age of content creators, and I'm wondering if others my age in the sphere have experienced this. A lot of the people I looked up to as a kid who, like, are the re almost like the one who made me realize I can be content creators. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the time I find a lot of my inspiration coming from them. Oh, sure. Especially my, my younger work stuff. I've, I'm like, some of them I can call friends now. And that's really fucking weird. Yeah. Because, like, I was a fan of them as a kid. And then I would say probably I reached a certain age where I think I just I stopped watching them. It just happens, you know? And then, as I got older again, I ended up watching them again, and their content had changed with, like, I guess, as their audience had grown. But now I was from the perspective of a fellow content creator and not as a fan. Yeah, it's really so it's like. End up peers with the people that yeah. You watch. Like, friggin', uh, I've talked about this. Some of the biggest. Literally, uh, I've talked to him about it. Uh, Martin in the Littlewood is the whole reason I pursued art professionally. Wow. He's still um, making videos, huh? Yeah, he's, he's such a fucking sweet dude. Um, but I remember I was uh, getting really into the Yogg's cast. Um, that's when I really started to flesh out my art outside of just stick figures and stuff. And I saw that he would feature fan art. And I was like, yo, I want to be noticed by my favorite content creator, young little me. So, <laughs> and I also want to show like appreciation. So I started drawing. And at the time there was also a fellow person who drew fan art for him a lot who got noticed with the same name as me. And I loved her art. And I just, I guess I formed a like a more of a connection with her because me and them had the same name. And it was really like, it was just a very wholesome time in my life. And then, um. I was at, I guess I was at the age of like, I think I was 15, maybe 14. I don't remember. It was around that age. The t like, they're like teeny teens, not mm -hmm. like, like tiny, like just like 13. Oh, uh, like, I think I, I don't remember. How old was I? God, it's hard to t keep track and I'm not even that old yet. Uh, <laughs> but, um, looking back on it i was it was like when everyone's asking you like oh what do you want to do for like work what do you, what are you going to be when you're older which why the fuck are you asking a 15 year old How that you contribute to <laughs> yeah and i was like capitalism? god i don't care for anything <laughs> what is your place remember, in capitalism <laughs> yeah i remember being super i remember around that time i think i saw people talking about being hired as artists for yogs cast and i was like i want to do that yeah. So then I started working really hard as an artist and I was like, you know what? I'm going to finish college and I'm going to see if I can get an apprenticeship at Yogg's Cast. Yeah, legit. I'm actually considering, I've been thinking about having a dedicated artist so that I can like focus my time on like writing and editing. Mm. I mean, is that not basically Kate? Oh yeah. Well, no, Kate's not my dedicated artist. She's like my part-time artist sometimes because <laughs> she's got her own stuff she's got to do. But uh, maybe, I don't know. I, I don't know that Kate's art style is what I'm looking for in branding, though. Um, and it's mm. a beautiful art style, absolutely. But like, it's something that I would want for like a graphic novel <laughs> or like a sick animation, uh, yeah. not for branding. Help, if you want help and are willing to, uh, like, I guess if it goes for someone not as popular, I can find someone. Sure. Help like, you. If you give me like an idea what you want, yeah. If you can scout That's out one for thing me. I'm very good at, yeah. <laughs> Uh, just uh, potentially hiring an artist, uh, a dedicated artist, to help you with like just artwork and stuff. Um, for branding, not not for like animation or thumbnails. Maybe thumbnails. Um, I've just I've just met a lot of people because uh, I used to do uh, thumbnails, and then I got too busy with other commission work. So I'd be like, hey, I I can't take this opportunity, but are you okay if I maybe pass you on to someone else who could? So I've mm -hmm. done that a lot. Because I, I I just it's like. Hey, this opportunity is here. I can't take it, but I know a really cool friend who could. Yeah. So I'm gonna pass it on. <laughs> so I'll see. But the the ones that people. do kind of fit the style I'm going for are like artists who are always busy and have clients. So I don't want to bombard oh, them with one of that. Like um, yeah. what's his name? The guy who makes Tinder Skitty. Like I like his oh. style. Oh yeah 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 yeah. I forget I his name. They, 
I think it's a he. Yeah. Uh, Aaron? Aaron, yes. Yes. What is this? Wagon wheel. All right. Oh, my inventory's full. I can't sell here, so I'm gonna sell at home. Oh, we have to sell at home? Uh, I gotta put it- well, you can sell at different places. I think you can sell at the general goods store. So, I'm gonna go to the general goods store. City Hall, Let's Taylor. Let's all take a trip. Let's take a trip to our favorite rocket ship. But yeah, uh, oh, fine. I'm trying to think who else, like, creators I've met who I thought were really hacking cool. Yorkscoss in the Little Wood, um... Jesse and, Cox has always uh, been cool to me. <laughs> I never got into that side for some reason. Um, but, it's a uh, different type oh, of content. Uh, edit ZP or Zeku. Mm. Smaller content creator. Fucking absolutely loved his humor. To this day, I still love his humor. And it was <gasps> so weird. Um, because I, we became friends because I raided them one day. Mm. And they were like, oh... And I was here just talking in that chat. And we can sell like, here. Cool, I guess. Um, <laughs> cool, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, and they just like. Um, they like asked about VTubing stuff and were really interested about it. And then I told them about it and they were like, oh, that's cool. And I was like, yeah. And then. <gasps> I can buy a bigger backpack. Yes. Uh, general goods store, yeah. General store. There's and a then, backpack uh, upgrade over here. Five hundred to start. I think. Oh yeah, I ended up meeting him in the weirdest way, Joe. This will be so funny. I can't disclose locations too much, mm -hmm. um, but okay. I was staying at Airbnb uh, for an like a, for an event, and uh, I roughly remembered he was in the area, and I texted him like, "Hey, do you want to like?" grab dinner with my friends at some point uh and he was like i would but i'm a little bit i'm not like too sick but i'm a little bit sick so i don't want to go out and i was like oh no problem uh i don't remember the name of the area that i'm at but this is like the train st like i could see the train station from my airbnb and i took a picture mm -hmm. and he was like oh, um holy shit what and turns out that he didn't live too far away and oh, wow. ended up walking over um, <laughs> a, 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 a very low amount of buildings away um, <laughs> and ended up walking over and we met up in the middle of a fucking night. Now that I think about it, kind of weird, but like, <laughs> you know, it's just how things be sometimes. Yeah, the more I hear about the UK, the more I realize it's just like one big neighborhood. Unable to connect. Yeah, kind of. Oh, because, like, Max was telling how Media Molecule, the guys who made Little Big Planet, was just, like, I don't know, down the road from where she lived. Wait, that's sick! Yeah. I feel like that's the same for, like, L.A. Mm-hmm. Yeah, L.A. and, like, uh, Seattle. You just run into people. Yeah. I... I... I, I want to hang out with Max again. Max is so cool. Max is cool! I want to go to Europe yeah. so I can hang out with Max and Shen. I got to hang out with Max and you didn't. I know. <laughs> uh, there it is. I wanted to... You say, it's like, you say like, oh, the UK. It's like, every time I meet someone from the UK, though, they're always like, just that little bit too much out of travel range. And I'm just like, for mm -hmm. fuck's sake. This is just a cock tease at this point. <laughs> <laughs> How's the tutorial going, Shen? I am still cutting down trees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just got your plot? Yeah. Shen, the office is always open. If you ever do come to the UK, I am always down. I am coming to the UK. To... Yeah, you're going to um, FanFest. FanFest London. Ooh. Ah, if you ever would want to hang out, I am always down. Of course. I, I'm planning on meeting a few friends, so if whenever you want to meet, uh, I can I can extend the days. It's I haven't, I haven't, I, I haven't bought an Airbnb yet. Really or a hotel, sucks that it's in which I really October. Should. <laughs> feel yes, free to like up. feel free to hit me up. I would love to. I'm, I if you want, I can bring my dog and you get to meet puppy. <laughs> I have a couple of friends uh, planning to come down because they're like, you have a puppy, yes, and now they're on their way here. <laughs> Rascal. Yeah, the servers are crapping themselves. I blame Rascal. <laughs> I don't 
sorry about that, like, I guess, tangent of reminiscing. It's just like, no, it means that I don't have to talk. The journey. <laughs> it's just like weird to think about the journey sometimes because mm -hmm. I, I, I know I'm like in the grand scheme of things very young, but I don't feel it because of how everything feels. I'm gonna kill I don't know. Cat. Feels weird. I don't know how to. No, it. yeah, it doesn't feel like there was like there's definitely a journey, but it doesn't feel like you went that far. If that makes sense, yeah. it's just like oh, I guess I'm here now in the content creation space it doesn't feel like there was like a big like and now you're here you know like you've made it yeah. it's just like no it oh my gosh i've got a lot of mail like one day one day i was um one day i was like a fan and then i it's like i blinked and then i just wasn't yeah was, it really is the one makes you realize that content creators they're just people they're just dudes yeah i mean that's literally how me and you became friends yeah like how did we meet? I forget. Um, I saw your I like girls thing on Twitter and I liked it because I was like, okay, I relate. <laughs> um, and then I followed you and I don't know why. I guess you might have seen like you saw and were like, oh, that's an artist who followed me, looked and liked my stuff and followed oh, me. Oh, probably. Yeah. Whenever I see then, someone with an artist profile picture, I usually check them out and see what art yeah, they make. And then uh, I just I literally I think I DM'd you. Hey, your video is uh, your like little animation is really cool. Do you play video games? <laughs> Let me double check. I'm curious how I fucking DM'd you now. Hopefully it's not too dorky. I'm gonna cringe. Oh, also, what? uh, Twitter sucks now. Oh. Yeah. yeah. It does. Oh. It sucks oh, it's not, so bad. It's not Twitter anymore. No, it's Twitter. Twitter is oh, I probably I DM'd okay you like the worst way. <laughs> I just DM'd you higher. <laughs> higher. I guess we're mutuals, so we're fine. And you're like, hi, what's up? And I went, hey, oh, sorry, I just realized we were mutuals and wanted to drop by and say hi. Um, how has your day been? And I asked that and it was like, I just talked about my breakfast. I, I talked about playing and now playing League. Um, I was wondering uh, what to say after hi. Uh, glad, glad you like, I think you were talking about character, Bunny Girls. Uh, thank you for dropping. Uh, oh yeah, you dropped by my stream and then I asked like, do you play Valorant by any chance? And then I just, I just talked to you huh. like a person, like I would anyone else, I guess. I'm not skilled hey, enough to play <laughs> something like Valorant. I don't know. I'm really bad at conversation. Oh, so that's uh, same. Lost. Yeah, my so just like, I'm not able to connect to the server either. It's a. Uh, oh, 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 it's a it's quick a fix. I think we need to relog. Do we, we need to relog? Okay, hot fix. Yes. Yep. Patch. Let me go. Patch. I mean, yeah. It's just like I guess. Also, I, this I don't know if this is a weird way. As someone who went from um, I guess fan to, oh. Down for maintenance. I'll be back. Oh, okay. Down for uh -oh. maintenance. All right. Well, we can just guess, have a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it's like weird. Not. I don't know if I put it advice, but like goal, retrospective. Right? When, uh, as someone who I guess went from fan to content creator and then was kind of thrusted into it all. Um, Are the servers down? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Maintenance. They'll be back up in a moment, probably. What's that like, like for like? Uh, is it reactive? Oh, oh so yeah, we don't. Active. I, I yeah. don't want to bother doing all that. Yeah. Hold on. Um, but, boop. There really. we go. I'll just be in my like tavern. Like said, content creators are people, <laughs> and you should just talk to them the way you would. Not, of course, like talk to your friends because you don't want to be like overly yeah. friendly. Yeah. But just talk to them the same way you would with wanting to start a conversation with most people. Yeah. And if the content creator doesn't react well then that's someone you wouldn't have been friends with anyway you can't like force stuff really it's the yeah. same with like but Wait, Koi, I, I have anxiety it worked out. I have anxiety and everything that goes wrong is my fault yes it is no. <laughs> <laughs> sorry it's too easy to say that it couldn't um, be that we don't mesh well it must be that I did something wrong because like most people are like, oh, never message a content creator higher. And yet I did that and look, we're friends. Yeah, everyone has you can't just their say own. Hi. <laughs> everyone has their own tolerance and preferences. You can't really make a blanket rule mm -hmm. for everybody. And like, I... no, you shouldn't watch a content creator with the explicit goal to try and make mm -hmm. friends with them. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. but friendship can happen. It's like, just say, mm -hmm. don't have any expectations. 
most of my closest friends have all started off as people who were just part of my community. Yeah, like me. Mm -hmm. Same. A lot of the, the <laughs> YouTubers that um, I met. So I'm, I'm very. I, I started a series of when I was first starting my channel that was just talking about like other small channels, um, and it was just kind of a sneaky way for me to make friends because mm. you know if you go into other if you find other channels and you like go into their comment section and just type can we be friends or like. Um, will you follow me for a follow? That usually doesn't result in anything, but if you go to someone mm. and you're like, hey, can I just talk about your small channel or my small channel? Then people tend to be a little bit more receptive because they know you're sincere. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually ended up making like a bunch of friends who ended up having bigger channels later down the line mm. because of that. Um, and so we kind of like grew together, which is really cool. Every time I consider talking to Joe Cat, I realize there are hundreds of people. That's another thing, is like a lot of the time, content creators don't respond, not because they're not interested or they don't want to talk to you. It's because they have to pick and choose their time to spend mm -hmm. with I'm gonna people. I'm going to be honest, the easiest way you can get to talk, if, if, if you really want to have an interaction, like a genuine interaction, the best way to go about that, interact in their community. Mm -hmm. yeah. I talk to so many oh. people who watch my streams on my Discord just because they like take part of chats, aka they they are interested in what I'm interested in. Like they, it, you just naturally pick up conversations. Like when I started Mob Psycho, I made a bunch of friends purely because we like Mob Psycho. Like that's just it's mm -hmm. you just I'm, yeah. I'm don't don't people. explicitly don't explicitly just do things with the hopes you become friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. But having I... matching interests can help. Yes. This is exactly how I got into the community. I, so I started off, I'd say like the biggest community I really joined into outside of like, I'd done animation things here and there. I started Discord because I really liked Domix's stuff. Hmm. Um, there was a really, I thought he was really cool. And it was like, hey, that's the sort of person I'd want to be friends with. But I know I can't really be friends with that person. So I'm going to go into their community because I'll probably meet people like them or like-minded people. Yeah. And I made so many friends. So like, even if Shared the creator interest. is hard to reach, mm -hmm. they'll usually attract people who are pretty similar. So Absolutely. you probably make friends. Absolutely. I know it's hard to make friends. Trust me, I was, I was so, I, I'm so, I was the socially awkward fan who was like, I want to make friends with cool people, but I don't know how. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, I feel that. I mean, I started streaming because I wanted friends that were interested in streaming, and I thought the best way to make friends who are interested in streaming is by streaming. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> I'm gonna. I guess go with things you. earnestly and see where it goes. Yes, be earnest, be open and honest, and have have genuine intentions. Like, mm -hmm. because. Uh, I don't know. It's like if you don't have malicious intent, if you're not just clout chasing, a lot of the time they can tell. Like, mm -hmm. uh, I, I know that anxiety can happen, but as like if you are already having that like concern, you're already proving that you are not doing it for that. Like, um, just keep that in mind and have a healthy amount of like restraint and just be like, okay, I, I'm not doing this for clout. I genuinely do it because I think they're a cool person. But also if we're, if we don't end up friends, that's okay too. They're a stranger to me. They don't know who I am. I probably know more about them than they do about me. And what I do know about them is only what they present publicly. I don't know. Yeah. That's that, that what happened to me when I met like a person, um, who we thought we were compatible, but then they met me and I, I guess they might've had a different idea of who I was in their head and then yeah. we just weren't and uh that happens sometimes that's you know happened to us as well. that's like, happened to us happened absolutely to, like where we've actually like met content creators in person and realized like oh we don't like vibe like we'll be good like yeah friends internet like mm. acquaintances and stuff but mm -hmm. we probably won't like hang out like regularly like dan Dan was so su uh, your friend Dan oh, yeah. was so surprised how quiet I was outside of videos and streams. <laughs> like I am wallflower to the to the yeah, extreme. Part of it is that your like online persona is very different from yours. Even during streams, I talk way more on stream than I do in mm -hmm. real life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am the I am the quiet kid when yeah. I'm not on. Versus like. Fallen, who met you in person first mm -hmm. and then watched your videos, had the opposite reaction. She was like, is this the same person? Like, he's so, like, 
talkative and loud and like expressive in his videos and, and she, like she was shocked by that because she met you in person first and was like oh but yeah. he's so like calm and quiet and introverted and that's not to say that we're fake online we still are mostly being ourselves it's just through the lens of you know a different intention of trying to entertain or trying to talk to an audience mm -hmm. and we know the spotlight is on us um it's like beautiful, it's but caffeinated. yeah caffeinated and through it through a uh uh, what is it? What's the 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 bullhorn thing? Um, microphone through through a megaphone. That's it. It's still our personality, but keep in mind it's through a megaphone. Mm -hmm. yeah. I I fully get you with that. IRL Joe Cat versus Final Fantasy fourteen DPS guy Joe. Even further than that, IRL <laughs> Joe Cat versus Stream Joe Cat is still very different. Like I'm still mm -hmm. myself on stream. I still speak my mind. I'm still honest about who I am, but it's still not what i'm like in real life would you say that my online persona versus my irl persona i feel like my my in-person persona versus my online persona are closer close to the yeah same than yours because mm. yours are very different mm -hmm. but i would still say that i'm more caffeinated yeah like i'm more active in my videos and like yeah online. like one person actually i'm gonna use them as an example uh not as a as a bad example as a good example of how we're just people and we think normal things and act normal um 8-bit drummer jared he like the most humanizing thing i've seen when i hung out with him at twitchcon so many years ago was see him get frustrated at something because on mm -hmm. stream he's never negative he is so positive all the time and uh and has so much energy i i get exhausted watching him i don't know how he keeps it up <laughs> and he's absolutely a positive person like for real uh, genuinely and a very nice guy in real life but like it was surprising to see him get frustrated but then i was like wait a minute of course he would get frustrated at a frustrating situation he's a human <laughs> he's a person we all get frustrated at stuff but some of some people are able to like leave that out when they entertain because they don't want to bring that into their stream into their videos because they know that some people come to them to get away from that stuff you know like there's nothing wrong with expressing negative you know emotions yeah. or opinions or but some people want to present a space to get away from that you know and everyone has different intentions of what they want to present on their live streams on their videos and it's always good to keep that in mind um as a buffer of like to keep in mind this is not every facet of this person in real life mm -hmm. i had a similar reaction to tom scott yeah. Where meeting him in person is very like intimidating. He has a very strong personality. <laughs> um, it, it, and I never know how to react to it. Just because he has like a very, I wouldn't say aggressive. I don't know if aggressive is the right word, but he has a very strong it's like, personality. It's a lot of energy. <laughs> yeah. And it's like very um, almost absolute. Uh, like he's nice. He's just very like. <laughs> it's like a it, would you describe it's very like sunshine energy turned up to like max that's how i feel about it maybe i don't I, know just like i'm always wondering very like, do, you mean more like, go, go, go. do you mean more serious i think maybe a good way to describe it is loud not in volume yeah. but mm. just he's loud a in loud in personality yeah. oh oh okay where, like, I don't know how to respond. That's another thing that I've started to realize after becoming a content creator is, like, realizing a lot of these people who I thought that I would be good friends with, I'm like, oh, actually, we don't vibe. Not that I dislike them or am bugged by them. I'm just like, oh, we have different vibes. And I actually, I don't think I could hang out with them regularly because we're just different mm -hmm. people, you know? Like, too, too different, where it's like, uh, like if it weren't for the fact that we know each other through content creation, like, if we were in school, I probably would not be friends with this person. Yeah, like, you'd be acquaintances. I'd, yeah, you'd be acquaintances, yeah. but you wouldn't hang out, but you know? yeah, you just wouldn't, you know, be inviting them to your birthday party. And yeah. Versa. It's like the whole thing with Adam Savage and uh, the other guy from... Jamie... Jamie... Jamie, Jamie Heideman. Uh, J Jamie Heideman and Adam Savage, they were friendly on the show and they had a great chemistry, but they were not friends off of the show. They didn't dislike each other. They just had a purely professional relationship. And that's, that's fine. With, um, you know? 
Trixie, Mattel, and Katya, I can't remember, like, the two, the, there's, they do a bunch of, they're, like, two drag queens, mm -hmm. but they always mention that, like, they don't hang out off of set, mm. because, like, part of the reason that the shows that they do together are, like, watchable and entertaining is because they haven't spent time together, so that's their catching up time. Yeah, and that becomes the content. No D&D &D -D today? No, Fel and Logan are off to Gen Con. Today is the first day of Gen Con, actually. Also, I, I also feel like when that happens, I think it also, like, removes the drama aspect. Yeah, like it's... Yeah, the, mm. the, 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 like, the, the chances of, like, conflict happening, the, like, the, like, decreases dramatically. Yeah, when you realize maybe you're just not compatible as friends. You know? Like, mm. because, like... A lot of it is trying to make it work when it doesn't, and that can cause friction when sometimes you just got to realize you're people who not dislike each other, but don't get along. I feel like the term you don't get along or like you're not friends has a negative connotation, but it just means that you're not friends, you know, like I'm not friends with my mailman, but that doesn't mean I dislike my mailman. You know, I'd probably strike up a conversation, but I wouldn't, you know, invite him out to dinner or something. That's why I really like the whole, like, just don't vibe. Where it's, yeah, just don't it's vibe. Not, like, it's not negative, it's not mean, it's not saying that you hate this person or that there's anything wrong. It's just that you don't function well together, you don't fit. Yeah. Which is fine. And I'm a cargo ship and they're a, a commercial airliner. <laughs> yeah. I did learn the difference about that pretty recently, though, where there's a very thin line of where someone can do you wrong, but... And people are like writing it off as, oh, you just don't fit together. That's yeah. You got to be careful with that mindset. For sure. Yeah. It's like, it's hard to tell sometimes. Like, it's definitely a difficult skill to parse. Like, do we not vibe or were they actually not good to me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's something I had to recently uh, yeah. deal with. I'm lucky enough that I have not experienced a lot of people being that way to me. Um but I know I knew something was wrong the moment I had to go to therapy. <laughs> it's funny. I like but <laughs> it's funny how um not funny but the the coincidental that all the uh, the rest of you guys all have experienced someone basically not being very good to you and then shaping the way you I wonder I, if it's because we're women. <laughs> Like, if we just have, like... Or we're I, femme presenting. I know why it was for me. I, yeah. I know why we're it was like for me. Socially viewed as feminine. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's because there's a slight, like, if I'm going to be talking about this, like, there's a slight stigma that, like, you just got to suck it up. Like, I don't know about you guys, like, when stuff happens, it's just like, oh, you're a... You just like, kind of got to like. There's this weird compulsion of like, no, I have to give them another chance. Maybe I need to be more forgiving. Mm. I'm the I'm the problem in this. So I I'm the one to... in the wrong. I yeah. need the and feelings I have. Like... I just need to suck it up. Yeah. <laughs> Dipper. Be like, oh, we don't vibe. I'm not hanging out with you, which would be the more sensible thing to do. But then it's that whole like you, as a like socially trained feminine person, I'm expected to be as unbitchy as humanly possible. Yeah, yeah. Where it's like, I can't be mean to anyone and I, like, have to actively fight, um, like, anything that could be perceived as yeah. mean, even if it's not. Yeah, I'm gonna, I, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I went through. It's like the, 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 uh, what is it called? The toler toleration? Tolerance? The tolerance of male behavior. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. No. I I know what you mean. You can't stand up for yourself because then you're a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Or a Karen. Or a Karen. Yeah. You you can't have boundaries because then you're just being. You're just. You're just. Ugh. You. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, also, yes, Dipper. Uh, toxic. That is what we mean. Mm, <laughs> That's toxic yeah. behavior. It's like it feels like we're always told like you have to tolerate like oh period cramps oh you have to deal with it oh you're suffering with something that like is r really bad and probably with just like a year of research could fix not just got to deal with it that person that that person's being bad to you got to deal with it you're getting like inappropriately talked to at work got to deal with it yeah you just got to so put up with it you kind of told that you have to like tolerate everything and at some point you snap yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just like, uh -uh. when when you justifiably get yeah. angry then they blame you for it 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And it, that that it took me because uh, just like how you explained it earlier, like uh, Echo, I was blaming myself, but I had a third party who was telling me I have no idea how you stayed calm during all of that. I have no idea how you did that. And I was like, oh, maybe it wasn't as good. Or like, <laughs> maybe it wasn't me. Maybe I really should have just snapped. <laughs> having your own boundaries is not the problem. The real one is imposing them upon others. Uh, I, I guess so. But just having boundaries by themselves is not imposing them on others. That no. Having boundaries is just having boundaries. You know, it's like, hey, I would prefer if you didn't uh, use this kind of language around me is, you know, some would say that's imposing it on others. But that's just like what makes you comfortable. And if they're not yeah, able to do that then you're not you're not yeah exactly if you like if you if you don't to... like someone's boundaries you can leave yeah leave like you are not entitled boundaries we can't have a relationship yeah you're not entitled to having a relationship with someone if you can't respect their boundaries mm -hmm. you, but you can't treat like what boundaries as a weapon mm -hmm. to try yeah. and like box mm -hmm. someone into something to control other people's behavior yeah so how was the game? Yeah, the game was fun. <laughs> it's server maintenance <laughs> right now, and now we're just talking about like feelings and and our experience dealing with toxic relationships and content creation. Now, now it's become a podcast. Yep. Um, yeah, manipulators. Yeah, fem uh, so, uh, socially raised feminine people understand. Yeah, mm -hmm. like there's yeah. like all this because everyone is it, there's so much like social pressure. Um, but everyone is telling you, like, you can't control your emotions. You have to try harder to control your emotions. And it turns out that, like, mm. no, women are actually very in control of their emotions. Yeah. Because we're constantly fighting that stigma. What's the therapist thing where it's like, no, the the way that you're you're feeling the appropriate way. Your emotions are, are mm. valid. Like, you yeah. should feel that way in this situation, actually. And it's, yeah. yeah. It's like any, yeah, it's very frustrating that people forget that, like, anger is also an emotion and, oh, yeah. and are very bad at controlling anger so it's yeah like, but we all need to get better at controlling but emotions. yeah it's also mm -hmm. it's because there's nothing out there to help people learn like when people like for instance being like the stigma of men not being good at controlling anger that happens because there isn't a support system to teach them you know no it's, and men it's like is everyone suffers that men are allowed society to yeah and men men are so cold to each other that they don't allow other men to like oh my god we're getting so so like social yeah. justice talky now but like yeah. you know what fuck it i believe in what i'm going to say men need to be more tender with each other they need to allow each other to be vulnerable because so yep. many times when a man is vulnerable around other men they get mocked for it so they bottle it yep. up and they are not they don't have a good way to express that frustration and anger they don't have a healthy way to let it out and you know what happens they they it it explodes it explodes and then they they cause some trouble like they hurt people because they don't have a a good healthy way to cope with it and it's because other men shame them for it and to be fair, sometimes women. Yeah, there are it's yeah. society. I should have said society shame yeah. them for. Society shames men for it. Uh, society shames men for being uh, vulnerable. And that is why I'm so so grateful for not just the the uh, feminine uh, socially raised feminine people in my life, but also the socially raised masculine people in my life, because a lot of the men in my life are emotionally intelligent enough to say fuck that and be like, no, you can cry with me, you can. Uh, tell your emotions and frustrations and and sadness stuff with me and you can share it with me and i'm not gonna judge you for it i am extremely I grateful care. to my my close my friend group hijack that ian and eric are emotionally intelligent men like, wonderful that would not that not only don't judge me for my feminine interests but it actively encourage it and i is it ian that just became a dad yes ian became a dad he just and had a kid he's gonna be such a good dad he's gonna be an amazing he's gonna, dad he's gonna be one of those like dads that's just like very soft and tender and kind absolutely and, like, like he, he they're they're their kid is set they're i am not even like, <laughs> remotely worth their like, kid's gonna be fine anyone who should be a parent it's them yeah mm-hmm yeah, I'm very grateful for the men in my life and the male presenting people in my life who are not toxic and don't perpetuate the idea that men can't be vulnerable and emotional. And also help continue to push the idea that women are people. What? A, how about that what idea? <laughs> how about we treat women like they're just people? Just human beings. Human beings. <laughs> What's the George R.R. R. Martin quote? It's like, uh, how do I write women so well? Well, I always consider women to be people. <laughs> literally like 
George the, R. The easiest, yeah. mm -hmm. the easiest way to write a character without having gender in mind is just write a character and then like just, then just have what gender, they are what gender afterwards toss like, the like gender you dice can, you can literally you just mean, write a male character like a female stairs. character you can write a female character like a male character it doesn't actually matter it doesn't yeah. matter i really respect what uh, george R. R. martin said how he writes his characters is he just puts himself in their shoes it's like, what would I do in this scenario if I were, I don't know, the queen of uh, whatever the heck place in Game of Thrones? And it's like, well, I would probably do this. <laughs> anyway, I think that's a good place to call stream. Uh, we covered a lot of we covered a lot of ground in this. Damn, this I time. love the two minutes. Mm -hmm. the, what's it called? Uh, Paleo. Palea, yeah, what a what a great. They, are, they did a great job with the like having Palea and life lessons things mm -hmm. unlocked, where it's like you can have any like Animal Crossing, where it's like whatever mm. like body type you choose doesn't limit what you can wear and mm -hmm. like, how your hair can look, how your face can look. Yeah, I like the two two minutes I got to play the video game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hopefully the servers get uh, fixed a little bit more. Um, I wish the devs best of luck. I will be playing this game a lot more in my spare time. I won't be streaming uh, the rest of my experience about it, but I will be. I, I do plan on making some kind of video uh, summarizing my thoughts and feedback. Um, thank you, Paleo Devs, if you're in the chat. Sorry, we went spent the past like half hour talking about social issues. Um, <laughs> I'm sure they understand. Yeah. Just given the way that the game seems put together, they seem very like knowledgeable. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Poi, uh, Echo, my love, uh, uh, Shenpai, uh, thank mm -hmm. you all for joining me here in this stream. And thank you for inviting me. This was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for giving me codes. That worked. <laughs> 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 Let's see who's online. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna find someone to raid. Um. Ooh. Uh, I got someone. I, I followed a bunch of VTubers before I left Twitter cold turkey. I was like, I want to follow a bunch of VTubers before I go because I know a lot of VTubers follow me. So we're going to raid one named Garrett Kane. Um, he's playing Remnant 2. He's like oh, a, I love that game. He's like a ghosty boy. I want to play mm -hmm. it. I got I to gotta get the boys and play this because I played the first Wait, one and game? I thoroughly enjoyed it. Remnant, Remnant 2. 2. Oh, I'm playing that right now. I love Remnant oh, 2. It's so fun, right? Yeah. I need to play more of it. But. So we're gonna raid him uh, while he's doing a thing. He he seems to be throwing javelins. What shall our raid message be? Um, what do you think, guys? I love you. <laughs> it's a little too strong. <laughs> I don't want to tell a random VTuber I love you out of nowhere. Um, what's the name of the little creature in this game? The creature? The little fluffy fella. What, in Palea? Yeah. Um, oh, I don't remember. Um. Just scrungly. Scrungly. Everyone say scrungly in the chat. There we go. <laughs> Chappa. Yeah. Chappa. Chappa. Don't, don't say scrungly. Say Chappa. Ch Chapa, whatever that is. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for watching. Go show some love to Garrett Kane. And tomorrow, I will be starting my Baldur's Gate playthrough. Bye. <laughs>